Good evening everybody and welcome to our service of evening prayer. Tonight's service will be a Compline. If you would like to follow along, please feel free. The words and scripture will be on the Church of England app. Or just feel free to sit and allow God's word to wash over you. We wait for a moment. The scripture before us says this. For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing has come. And that's taken from the Song of Solomon, chapter 2. And as we prepare ourselves tonight for Compline, we prepare ourselves as people of children of the risen Lord Jesus. The time of the singing has come. So let's take a moment before we begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We bring ourselves before God with our words of penitence when we say most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. We say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm set for this evening is Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth in their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go ships, and there it is that Leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. Of all these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose, to come and to reflect your glory. In Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. We say together, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light and they will reign for ever and ever. Scripture there taken from the book of Revelation. And in response we say, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our gospel canticle tonight, the song of Simeon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you've prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. We say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. We come to a quiet moment. An opportunity to bring our prayers and thanksgiving before the Lord. I'll say some prayers and I'll offer some space for you to pray in your own heart or to put your prayers on the screen for the rest of us to pray on your behalf. Knowing that when we pray, we pray to a risen Lord. We pray beyond the tomb. Let's pray. Lord of life, we pray for all who bring your word of life as a light to those in the darkness. We pray for Bishop Keith and his staff team, for Jill, Gordon and Gordon, and for all who are seeking to share your kingdom faithfully in unfamiliar ways. Lord, be their familiar and be their foundation. For those who bring your word of peace to those enslaved by fear. We pray for Christians around the world who are persecuted for the word of the risen Lord. And I ask you now to name these places, either in the silence of your heart, or feel free to type them in the comments. Lord, we recall your breath of peace poured out upon those disciples who were locked in the upper room, fearful of acknowledging your resurrection. Be the breath of peace on your world this evening. We pray for those who bring your word of love to those in need of comfort. And at this time, our minds are full of people we know or people we know we know or those people who are torn apart. Torn apart by fear of a virus, torn apart by a world we don't know or understand. People who need the Lord. I ask you now to name those people, those you know who are ill, who are fearful, who need the presence of the Lord upon them this evening.
Lord, be their light, their hope and their comfort. Lord of love and Lord of peace, Lord of resurrection life, be known through our lives and through your power. We pray for Emma. We pray for Dave. We pray for Howard and Doreen. We pray for Anne. For Kim. Father God, as resurrected people, we pray to you. Our collect for this evening. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ may reign with him, him in glory to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. We draw our prayers together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of bread. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. As our service of Compline draws to a close, I would encourage you to join us each morning at 9.30 for a traditional common worship service. Um, if you haven't joined us yet, please feel free to have a look on our YouTube channel so you know what to expect. But let me remind you of this verse. For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing has come. We are a resurrected people. Good night. God bless. Amen.